Hi, and welcome to another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist. I am your host, Dennis Richkovsky. Some of you recognize me as the co-owner of Flip Flops Donuts, and some of you know me as your broker of real estate, who specializes in waterfront and waterview properties along the Crystal Coast, especially on Bogue Banks and in my town of Emerald Isle, North Carolina. On this channel, you will find essential information from the inside scoops on buying and selling houses to how to live with the ocean, rivers, and sounds that define the Crystal Coast. Today's episode is all about President Joe Biden teaming up with Chef Robert Irvine to celebrate Friendsgiving at the Cherry Point Marine Air Station located in Havelock, North Carolina. Whether you visit here occasionally or live here full time, Learning about how and why we honor our active duty military and their families is a story worth telling. Before I begin, please subscribe to my video channel now or at the end of this episode. Thanksgiving is a time generally spent with family, but many people have friends who feel like family, hence the explosion of Friendsgiving in recent years. This is an event generally celebrated among friends either on or near Thanksgiving, according to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, which added the word as an official entry in January 2020. But people may have been using that term for these friendly gatherings even as early as 2007. Somewhat spurred on by celebrities such as Jennifer Aniston, who has hosted a star-studded event with a guest list including Jimmy Kimmel, Courtney Cox, Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and others, Friendsgiving is here to stay. And another famous person, President Joe Biden, is on board in a very patriotic way. He and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden joined forces with renowned chef Robert Irvine to serve up pounds of turkey and mounds of mashed potatoes to about 400 Marines, sailors, and families inside an aircraft hangar that was transformed into an upscale dining venue at the Marine Air Station at Cherry Point, located in Havelock. This air base occupies more than 29,000 acres. Its runway system is so large that the air station served as an emergency landing site for the space shuttle launches out of Cape Canaveral, Florida. Today, the air station is home to the F-35B, the world's most modern and insane stealth fighter jet. The President and First Lady arrived at the air station on Air Force One at about 6.30 p.m. on November 21st for what is seemingly becoming an annual Carolina tradition. Last year, President Biden observed Friendsgiving at Fort Bragg, another military base in North Carolina. After greeting the room, President Biden spent a few minutes dishing out food in a buffet line before casually minging, mingling around the individual tables. This is also the second time this White House initiative called Joining Forces has teamed up with the Robert J. Irvine Foundation to honor and support military families. And because celebrity chef Robert J. Irvine showed up, this was no ordinary feast. Although Irvine is an Englishman, he has a special connection with the food services Marines who helped him prepare this Friendsgiving meal as he served in the Royal Navy as a Chief Petty Officer cook. The menu this year featured a seasonal salad of autumn greens, candied walnuts, shaved Granny Smith apples, dried cranberries, and crumbled goat cheese topped with a balsamic vinaigrette. The main course consisted of slow-roasted bourbon-brined turkey, complete with giblet gravy and cranberry orange compote. Sharing the groaning table was maple mustard glazed spiral ham served with dried apricot. On the side, Irvine prepared roasted garlic and creme fraiche mashed potatoes, brioche cornbread stuffing with sage sausage, sweet potato casserole, roasted Brussels sprouts, and butternut squash served with sautéed mushrooms and caramelized onions. If, as they say, food is a huge morale-boosting part of the military, this feast easily and surely boosted everyone's morale. During a speech to the troops after the meal, 
President Biden drew on his firsthand experiences to thank them for their service and acknowledge their sacrifices. The president also wanted to thank the spouses as well because they put up with an awful lot because of your service. The president also acknowledged the many family celebrations when there's been an empty chair back home with your loved ones looking at that chair wondering, are you all right? Especially if you're deployed. Chef Robert J. Irvine echoed the president with his remarks, saying that the mission of his foundation is to support veterans and to let civilians know that military sacrifices are not limited to simply risking life and limb. The promise of freedom we enjoy in this country is unrivaled, Chef Irvine said, and we better not take that promise lightly. Terry spouse Jennifer Gonzalez, wife of Anthony, a gunnery sergeant, and mother of four spoke of the sacrifices and challenges that are unique to military family members. We go through a lot of trials and challenges that shape us into who we are, Gonzalez said, and it is through these challenges we face that we grow and adapt, and that enables us to overcome any obstacle. Wrapping up the festivities, Commanding Officer Brendan Burks said that Cherry Point is honored to host Friendsgiving and we, our Marines, sailors, and their families are excited to be in the company of our Commander-in-Chief and First Lady. Also in attendance was North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. To learn more about what is happening in and around Carteret County, the Crystal Coast, and the Outer Banks, subscribe to my newsletter by texting your email address to 919-308-2292 or sign up for my blog on my website, www.eihomesforsale.com, and subscribe to Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist on YouTube at the end of this video. Stay well and stay safe. So come on down, please subscribe to my channel below, and definitely return next week to the same bat channel at the same bat time of 9 a.m. on Thursday for another episode of Emerald Isle Vacation Home Specialist.